Hi, I'm Louise Coates, Sports Fitness and Dance, and I've created a shoulder mobility set. So if you are feeling tight, if you've got any contraindications around um, shoulder mobility, um, then this is a lovely set just to sort of ease any tension around the joints. As always, listen to your body. So if anything is painful, it's really important to listen to that. Um, allow yourself to make any modifications you need to, perhaps go to moves that are less uncomfortable. Um, but allow yourself to really focus on isolation. So think about rooting yourself from the hips all the way up to the top of the head and lifting as tall as you can. So really focusing on your posture to allow yourself to feel a little bit more lifted and a little bit lighter. And then we'll get into the um, shoulder mobility. And then as always, just allow yourself to really focus on what's going on in your body. Listen to any knots and niggles. If you need to spend a little bit longer time in certain movements, then that is absolutely fine. So um, I've created a chair set. <laughs> so grab yourselves a chair, bring everything down to a seated area. We'll do a few standing moves to finish off. Um, but this set is great because it just allows you that you can do it once, twice a day, you know, a couple of times a week, whatever you feel is working for you. So feet hip width apart, bring yourself down onto the chair and allow your arms to just hang nice and heavy. So shoulders are dropped, arms are down, but lift from that sternum. So really lift up. Think about rooting out from the hip joints. Take a deep breath in through the nose. And then exhale through the mouth. And again. And last one. Okay, lift the head up, take an inhale. Chin to chest, exhale. And again, inhale. Chin to chest, exhale. Now, once again, you can have your arms hanging heavy, shoulders are dropped, or if you need a little bit of support, then you can place your hands onto your hips. Okay, onto your hips, onto your knees. <laughs> I lost the plot, <laughs> clearly. Okay, so inhale, head up. Chin to chest, exhale. And again. Exhale. Good. Now from neutral position, turn your head to the side. Take an inhale. Make sure the shoulders are pulled back and sternum is lifted. You still feel like you're rooting out of the hip joint, balancing a book on your head. And exhale to the other side. Good. And the other way. Perfect. Now drop the ear to the shoulder. Try not to lift the shoulders up. Keep the shoulders down. And then over to the other side. Good. And other side. Just take it as far as you can. Really focus on dropping the shoulders. So you're not hunching or lifting up. And the other side. Remember, you can hold any of these moves as long as you need to. You can slow the video down if you want to. And if you're not sure how to do that, just hit uh, playback speed. You can slow it down, speed it up. Okay, so from that, drop the chin down to the chest. And you're just going to half roll down. So again, try not to hunch forward as you do this. You're still sitting up really, really tall. Watch is really uncomfortable on my wrist. I need to sort it out. Okay, that's better. Yeah, so you're really focusing on sitting up as tall as you can as you just take that half roll down. 
Good. And then bring everything up. Now start to shrug the shoulders up to the earlobes. And then just drop down. And again. And drop. Two more. And last one. Good. Perfect. Now draw the shoulders up and roll back. Drop the hands down and again sit up as tall as you can. So you're drawing up, pulling back. Good. And then reverse and pull back, up and over. You can slightly just suck the belly button in as you roll over the top. That's it. Kind of like um, a swimming butterfly action without the full rotation of the arms. So you're drawing the shoulders back and just rolling over the top. Perfect. And just bring the hands onto the shoulders and just start to pull back. And just work at a pace that you're comfortable with. Good, and then forward. And again, just work at a pace that you're comfortable with. Good, now open the shoulders, open the chest, and then flow forward, open, flow forward. So the right arm comes on top, then the left arm comes on top. So you're like alternating that flow kind of floating like a bird, opening the chest. Good. Perfect. Now from here, lift the arm up. The hand, the palm of the hand is in towards the body. Then you turn out and allow yourself to come around. Again, other side. Turn the hand which rotates that shoulder joint. So the palm faces in as you lift, rotate the hand, rotate in the shoulder blade or the shoulder joint, not the shoulder blade. Good, lift it up. Rotate the hand. Yeah, that's it. Just keep it as tight as you can or as far as is comfortable. One more on each side. Oh. Good, now lift the arms up, inhale. Now out with the arms and you swan dive down. So you bring your body forward, stick your bottom back and just hunch at the bottom. Relax the head and just hang heavy. And then roll up. So stack your vertebrae as you roll up. The head is the last to come to neutral. Then you pull and open the shoulders. So you're sitting up as tall as you can and that book is balancing on your head again. So we're gonna lift up into upper fifth. Inhale, exhale, swan dive. So stick your bottom back, open the chest as you come down and then hunch and hang. Hold it. Good, now just allow yourself to stack that vertebrae. Everything comes into a nice line. Pull the shoulders back, hold. And one more, so lifting up to upper fifth. I'm gonna do this on the side this time, just so you can check your line. So I'm opening my chest, sticking my bottom back, hunching, hanging down. And then I'm gonna push through the feet Stack my vertebrae, think of it as a bike chain. And then the head is the last to come to that neutral position. And you're sitting up as tall and as proud as you can. Perfect. Now from there, allow yourself to bring one arm across the body and then hold the um, forearm, or you can hold a little bit higher towards the elbow and just gently pull in towards the body. Good, now open, and again. 
good. Now other side, so open, come across the body, hold the elbow or hold the tricep, hold the forearm, wherever's comfortable for you. And then open. And then that brings us on to our diagonal opener. So open, cross, open, cross low, open, cross low. Good. Now stick your bottom out, cat cow. So head up, arch, and then suck your belly button in towards your spine. Good. So if you're on your hands and knees, you'd be doing like um, cat cow. They call cat cow. So here, opening the chest and then suck in the belly button and round in the back. So open the chest and then round the back. Open the chest. Inhale. Round the back. Exhale. Open. Inhale. Round. Exhale. Beautiful. One more. Perfect. Now from here, open into that second position. I like to call this your grand plie. So you're going to reach. That's it. So isolation, work in the side obliques, lifting the arms, allowing that shoulder joint to just move in a different direction. But don't hunch forwards, make sure you're lifting up. Good. Good, now from here, bring yourself back to centre and just lift onto the balls of the feet. Eight and seven and six. A little bit of blood flow around the hip joint, into the calf muscles. Two and one. Good, now bring the feet in. And you're going to isolate again, but alternate. So into the balls of the feet, lifting the heels, eight and seven and six and five and four and three and two and one. Now heels down, toes up, then toes down, heels up, eight and seven and six. Sit up as tall as you can, four and three and two and one. Okay, so just check on your posture. So I want you to imagine you're balancing a book on your head, your belly button is pulled in, your spine is really strong line. Hands together, lifting up. Now open, lift up as high as you can. Don't stick your bottom out, don't arch your back. We're really isolating the shoulder joint here. Head comes forward and you open in as far as is comfortable for you. Good, now from here, we're gonna do a halo. So it goes around the head. And then the other way. So halo, bring that halo around. Oh. And the other way. Oh, I love a halo. Oh. And remember, if you need to modify, you don't have to go all the way over the head. You can just work your halo here in front if you need to. It's just about mobility around that shoulder joint. So it just depends on how well, or if you've got any contraindications, it's really important to tune in and listen to them. Good, now from here, bring your feet together, stand up, push through the feet, and then come to the side of the chair. So feet hip width apart and draw the shoulder down and open. Four, and three, and two, arm a little bit higher now and five and four and three and two and one now draw it back up over the top good draw it back three more two more just as far as you can Good, now lifting up and over. Eight and seven and six 
Keep the knees nice and soft. Five. And four. And three. And two. Four. And oh, and good. Now from there, you're going to allow yourself to open the shoulder joints. So take the feet away from the chair and open as far as is comfortable. So you're allowing gravity to do the work. Lengthening through the spine. Really, really feeling it in that shoulder joint. Oh. Good. And then we're going to do everything that we've just done on to the other side. So feet hip width apart. Knees are soft. You never lock the, any of the knee joints. And you're going to start low. And seven. No. <laughs> and three. Five of each. And two. And one. Halfway. And five. Four. Three, two, and one. Now, back up and over. Five, four, three, two, one, and one. Good. And over. Five, four, three, two. And one. Take the feet away and lengthen them once again. Oh. Good. Okay, guys, well done. So, feet hip width apart, lifting up to upper fifth. Inhale. Exhale. And again. So up and out. And on the next one, inhale. And the arms go behind the bottom. So you open the chest. If you can link the hands at the back, link the hands. If not, just keep them on the bottom. And just stand as tall as you can. Hold in there. Maybe work any knots and niggles out that you're feeling. Still, there's a little bit of tightness. Now, root up, lifting up. Inhale. Bring your hands to a heart center. Breath in. Exhale. Drop the arms. And just take a moment to be mindful about your posture throughout the whole day, whatever you're doing. So always be um, conscious to lift up and root up from the hips. Stand as tall as you can. Work hard to stand taller so that you feel a little bit lighter. Well done, guys. Over and out. Love to all.